Hello, I'm Pete and welcome back to Sable. We're starting the episode here at Burnt Oak Station because in the previous episode I picked up a couple of pieces of scrap metal. So I sort of want to bring them to this person here and see what they make of it. Altin barely looks up at me. You better have something for me, Glider. Sell scrap metal. I fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. I say goodbye to Altin. All right, I'm not seeing anything about a quest being completed. So, yeah, I guess a fairly large amount of scrap metal is going to be required for that. All right, so I think of the remaining quests, Larval Husks. I'm going to do that one because we've got a waypoint for there, a location here. And I think the fastest place to travel from is probably from the Wind Tower. So let's go over there and then travel cross country. Meet you when we get there. Oh, there is a butterfly in here. Just around the Wind Tower. Have that. I think it's worth like one or two coins. And our quest location is then over in this direction. It's a fair old distance. It'll take us some time to get there. All right, I think we're approaching the area where we're going to find these larval husks. I can see a, a, a definitely man-made tower here. So I think it's probably time for us to disembark and, uh, and make the rest of the way up on foot. This archway here looks very inviting. That's where I'm going to start. Is this hovering? Okay, we've found the Hercules beetle nest location and there's floating shrubs. So we can tell that things are not all as they seem around here. We should look out. Okay. So there's a, a pipey thing heading down there. I kind of want to check out the top of this tower first. And then we'll try the downwards direction. Oh, a little indoorsy area. Not much doing in here. Oh, I can apparently open that little container from the other side though. That's impressive. Not many people are capable of that. I count myself among the lucky few. Hearing some quite twee music as well. It's moderately annoying. Oh, hello. Are you a beetle? Maybe I shouldn't be getting that close. More floating things. A broken down cart. Yeah, okay, I'm getting distracted from the tower climbing. Let's make a mental note of all these various places that I'm having to bypass and then we'll come back. Okay, the twee music has started up again. Not sure what this could mean. I'm sure all will become clear. Alright, this looks like a mechanism of sorts. Where am I trying to get to? Up there. Yeah, this could be jumpy puzzle. Uh, can I get across to there? Certainly, I don't think I want to be going up there. Let's try floating across to there. And this is inviting me. Somewhere to stop and get some breath. And then back up we go. Hello. Um, that's curious. I'm going to put it back down. It seems a little bit more animated than I was expecting. But it's good to know it's there. Oh, there's another one. What happens if I throw it? It's down there now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Can we go any higher? Sort of. But I'm not sure whether I should really be doing this. Oh, careful. Right, I, I want to get that other little puffy thing. Uh, over here somewhere? Nope, too far. I feel like 
step one of my plan is get all these puffy things and toss them over there. And once once they're all down at ground level, I'll decide what I'm going to do with them. I feel like... Oh, hello. Two piles. Okay. Okay, this gives me an idea. Am I supposed to place this on here? Okay, didn't like that. I mean, these are like little piles of eggs of some sort. Nothing much happens when we hold the puffy thing close to it, though. I'm going to open these other two containers here that I noticed through the gate earlier. But yeah, I, I don't have a plan for what next at the moment. I know I've got a couple of puffy things, but I don't know what to do with them. I think perhaps it's time to explore some of those other directions that I, that I issued earlier. So this pipe down was one of them. Let's have a look and see what's down here. Okay, achievement unlocked. Nesting giant. This feels ominous. There's an old worn out notepad by the tent. Let's read it. After all my journeying, the path inside the nest is blocked. The Hercules beetle, she blocks the way and refuses to move. I continue flicking through the scroll of notes. I am at my wit's end. The creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move. I have tried attacking the beast, but its shell is hard as metal and she does not even acknowledge me. There are further notes. There is an unusual plant that has overgrown this tower across from the nest. I plan to investigate this. The smaller beetles seem attracted to the plant. A final scroll on the back of the book. The climb was extremely troubling. If only I had my old gliding stone still. Nevertheless, I made it. Holding the fruit that grows on the giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around as I do so. I will test my theory with the mother. The notes end. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, alright, so I was on the right kind of track. I need to head back out, I need to grab a puffy thing, and I need to take it to the beetle mother and see what happens. Alright, this is going well. And I also seem to be picking up some money recently as well, which is something that uh, I'm... I'm happy about. All right, so we need to get to one of these puffy things. I think I dropped it on the uh, on the roof here. Hopefully, I don't need both of them. I'm expecting just one to be ample. Oh, yeah, she's interested. Pop it down there. Sneak through behind her. She's curious. I feel like she may have blocked the, the tunnel again. Well, we'll see how it goes. I don't think she's following me down here, at least. Okay, what have we got? Odd skeletons. Some platform puzzle by the looks of things. Some pick up a ball. I'll get one larval husk at least. Okay, can't do anything with those. I don't know if I just wait for them to create more husks or if I need to... I think I probably need to go and explore this room. Uh, is there a husk? Nope, just a beetle. Okay, well you, you, you chaps keep doing your beetly thing. Ah, here's a husk. Lovely. That's two out of three. Uh, can I keep going up? Perhaps with some creativity. They make interesting noisings. Okay, I see a, a climbable over here. Let's go up there. Little beetle hanging out in its tiny little tent. Beetles like camping too. And there's the third husk. We've got them all. And I'm hoping this ladder will give us a nice way out. Beetles keep making their strange noises. It's mildly disconcerting, but I don't think they're going to hurt me. Oh, is that a spare beetle husk? It is. Just in case. I'm 
much looking back to see if there were any... Oh, hold on. Yes, there was. There's a chest over there. I'm glad I checked. Uh, that was some money. I didn't really pay attention to how much it was. Probably a decent amount. Well, that was definitely worth looking back for. I'm glad I did that. Uh, and now I'm seeing interactable things where there are none. I'm going to be glad to be away from these weird noises. It's all a little bit too organic for me. Okay, we have made it up here. Now, which way to go next? So I think there was another little area over here that I didn't actually completely get around to exploring. Let's glide in that direction. So actually, this is kind of looking like it's just going to take us back out, isn't it? Let's drop in on the birds. Hello, birds. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing special down there. And there's the leftover puffy thing. And Mama Beetle is back in place. Okay, so we have everything we need to hand in the Beetle quest. So let's go do that. So if memory serves, it was the, uh, the person behind the counter here who wanted the Beetle husks. Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? I have the larval husks you asked for, plus one extra. Ifar started clapping the moment I caught her eye. Ah, you got them. Hope old mother beetle didn't give you too much trouble. I hand her the husks, lighter than air but strong as steel, and she slides them away in a cloth bag. These will really come in handy. Thank you. Actually, there's one more thing you could do for me. Can you take these husks to Ecria and deliver them to I.N. in the chime maker's workshop? Anything else I can help you with? Goodbye. All right, one more quest. Every time I think I've got rid of the quests, another one shows up. We have a few now. Do we have a waypoint for that? We do, it's all the way over there. And the other quest which we could potentially progress is this one. Find Elizabeth at the Bridge of the Betrayed, southwest of Burnt Oak Station. So that's going to be like here somewhere. That one's probably technically closer. I'm inclined to head towards this one. That's going to open up a new area. I mean, I'm not really sure there's anything else I can do in this current region. Um, there's lots of mysterious quests that I don't really know where to go. Like, more of Saren's terminals. I don't know where they're going to be. I mean, one thing I do note, looking at the map, is there's sort of... There's kind of a couple of fairly large blobbish bits. Like, one here and one here. Yeah, maybe there's some loot in those. I feel inclined to set a waypoint at this one, fast travel to this one, and then let's go the rest of the way. So I assume it's this large rock formation here that I that I marked on the map. I mean, sometimes a rock formation is just a rock formation, but it just looked very, very conspicuously large, which makes me think there's, there might either be something good on top of it or something good under it. Let's do a circuit, see what we can see. I mean, this looks like this looks like a, a good way to try and climb it. Oh, I see. Now I get off the bike. It's suddenly looking a bit taller. I'm going to give it a go, but I don't have as much hope as I did when I was further away. Nah. How annoying. Okay, let's continue going around. Oh, it's it's enterable. It's enterable. Found the way in. Okay, not a total waste of time after all then. Oh yeah, this is this is sure is interesting. Couldn't see that from outside. And is that a little Yes, there's a, there's a chum egg in there. Let's go grab that. Now, the next question is, can we get higher? I feel like if I grab onto this... I can get a little bit higher, but then... I'm going to get stuck on this. Maybe... 
Okay, I am getting energy back here, but I don't really see where I can go to from here. Oh, I was hoping for a ledge. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rage quitting back down to the floor. Let's just have a look behind this rock. Oh, there's another chum egg up there. Okay, let's go grab that. Where to go to next? I do want to get up to the top of that thing. It feels like it's where I should be, but... The whole thing feels very hostile to my ascent. Just have a little look through this window. Because windows are cool. Hello. That was worth looking. Right, let's carefully make our way up here. Now, I wonder if I can get across to this little roofy bit and then climb up. Ah, this is the way to the top of the tower. Nice. Right, we've got something. Looks like there's another chum egg up there. Let's make our way carefully around the edge. It's very windy up here. I'm feeling it. Okay, so now this tower. How's the best way to do this? If I can sort of glide across to here. And then maybe I can work my way down. There we go. Some sandy dye. The dye bottle for the colours of the sandy bike. Now, I still don't know how to dye my bike. And I think that's probably... Yeah, that's, that's it for in here. Okay, I think I feel pretty pleased. Oh, can't touch that. I feel pretty pleased at, uh, at how things have turned out in here. I've managed to pick up uh, three or four of those chum eggs and some dye. So yeah, that was well worth the detour. Turned out my instincts were spot on on that one. And I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you'll join me for the next episode of Sable. Bye-bye.